Hi there smartphone fans, welcome back for another honest hands-on review and today I have here for you a great bargain. A flagship phone from last year at a budget price this year and why should you get it you wonder? It's not because it's great but let me tell you what you get. You get a Snapdragon 820 for instance, you get 4 gigs of RAM, you get a tough metal unibody stereo speakers and uh, a Sony IMX298 main camera which is a flagship camera sensor last year and on top of that you have Qualcomm's quick charger and 4070 milliamp hour battery and this is the Leco Le Pro 3 Elite yes that's right it's not a mouthful but this was actually a flagship phone last year and as such it was Pretty, pretty great and still is as far as looks are concerned handling and build quality this is a top quality device nothing to do with uh, cheap plastic uh, doji blue boo megu phones at this price just think about it for around 160 dollars you can get the home tom s8 which is an appealing phone in 2017 but it's nowhere near the quality and especially the performance of the snapdragon 820 powered lepro 3 elite and uh, it's running on Leicos ESUI, which is uh, a heavy customized skin of Android, uh, pretty much uh, tries to be iOS. Now, this is running on Android M, which is Marshmallow, and it will probably not get another update for it, and I just wanted to know that. But I don't really think this is a really big deal when you're considering this price point. Uh, super fast fingerprint scanner, backlit capacitive keys, uh, stereo speakers as I said, it's just a very very good phone and the software UI it doesn't have that uh, TV service which it had in the previous years, so it's a very clean UI for me and uh, it works great, so it might be running on older Android but there's no crashes and the OS works, Snapdragon 820 is a flagship chip and it's very powerful but it's not just performance speed in gaming, it's also things like the GPS that really make it stand out and you can check out the detailed specs here 4 gigs of RAM and 8 gigs of onboard storage for this device 16 megapixels on the IMX298 4000 mAh battery all the sensors and I might have to say very good thermos this phone does not overheat or anything just a very very good daily driver even as a secondary phone it absolutely chews through and to benchmark like it's absolutely nothing runs great 150,000 points on to two for a 160 dollar phone well no other phone on the market right now can even come close to that i mean not even close and look just look at how buttery smooth it runs and to just heaviest 3D gaming test and they said there is no overheating from the device because of the metal back is a very good heat conductor not like today's glass phones and you also get a compass and said every sense that you need and the UI while a bit strange this work perfectly well and here you can check out the detrial stereo speakers So you get very fast performance, great sound, but the most appealing thing for me in any smartphone is the camera. No matter how fast the phone is, if it doesn't have a good camera, for me the phone is definitely no good. And the Lab Pro 3 Elite Sony IMX298 is an outstanding camera sensor at $160, absolutely nothing beats that, even at around $250 level. It's absolutely amazing camera, very fast shutter speed, so loads of details, practically no noise in OK to light conditions. And what really surprised me that after all this time, the camera still does very well with low light shots, especially when you turn on the night mode. So, and it does have 4K video recording as well. The front camera is an 8 megapixel sensor with f2.0 aperture, present again to par if not better than almost anything you can get at this price point and for low light shots by turning on the night mode so you get absolutely 
great and light performance. Let me show you some shots I've taken with the camera. This is inside in my house in good lighting conditions and this is indoors in the mall. Now you simply can't get this good dynamic range, so much detail and this fast shutter speed at any other phone at this price point. So even if you're buying it as a secondary phone or you're on a very tight budget phone, the fastest and best camera phone there is on the market and you don't really care about if it's running Android, latest Android or if it will get updates but you want it to work well, I think the Lepro 3 Elite is a great phone. Sure it may not have the 18x9 full view display or like uh, Android Oreo or something but just look at these shots. This is in practically pitch black outside, just a great good quality and this is the selfies inside the mall again very good quality and check out the view quality here as well. So the Leica Lab Pro 3 Elite, an outstanding deal in my books, Snapdragon 820, stereo speakers, outstanding metal unit body, very flagship phone, great cameras. For me this is absolutely enough to warranty a $160 purchase. However, it will not get an Android Nougat update and uh, the display is not 18x9 or full view or anything, but it's definitely bright enough to view outside in good sunlight. So. This is my Lepro 3 Revisited Review. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe to my channel and you can buy the phone from the link in the description below. Yeah. Stick around.